Hey guys, what's up? It's Code Gamer one here with more of my 100% completion guide for Grand Theft Auto 3. Today we'll be covering Joey Leone's first mission, uh, which is, uh, I'll talk about in a second. But one thing I want to preface this by is I think for all of Joey Leone's missions, you have to come between 5 o'clock and 21 o'clock, or else the mission will not trigger. It'll show up on your map, but it will not trigger when you step in the circle. So uh, we'll be covering Mike Lip's last lunch in this video. Hey, I'm bored. When are you going to drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. All right, so the Ferrelli brothers are mentioned for the first time in that cutscene. Uh, they make a prominent uh, appearance in GTA Liberty City stories, and I think in Vice City you work for the Frellies. I'm not sure, it might be the doctors I get the families messed, messed up. But in this mission, we need to go up and steal, uh, we need to go up to uh, St. Mark's Bistro and steal a car uh, that belongs to uh, the dude that Joey was talking about. But, um, you need to steal the car and do not damage it at all. Because uh, if you damage it, you have to get it resprayed, and you have, this is a time mission, so that can kind of screw you. So don't hit anything. Try not to hit anything. Uh, if you do, it's not the end of the world. There's enough time to go get it resprayed and come back. Um, but now we're heading down to 8 Ball's bomb shop. 8 Ball's the person that we escaped with in the intro mission in the game. Uh, we're not actually going to see 8-Ball in this mission. He will make an appearance later in the game, but we're not going to actually see him in this mission. And it will, once you drive into his garage, it will get the car will get fitted with a bomb. Uh, it's just like the paint spray. You drive in, and the door closes, and when it opens, you have a bomb fitted instead of your car getting resprayed. And in the top left corner, it will tell you, depending on what system you're on, what button corresponds to arming the bomb. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind. Don't arm it yet. Uh, there are three um, different kinds of bombs in this game. The one in Portland, which we're getting right now, is an ignition bomb. So when the person gets in the car, the bomb goes off. Um, the one in Staunton Island is a timer bomb. So after a certain amount of time, it goes off. And the one in Shoreside Vale um, is a remote detonation bomb. So you, you park the car, arm the bomb, and then you choose when you want the bomb to go off, which I think is one of the coolest bombs. But this one also is really funny. Uh, so just park it where you found it, press the button that, to activate the bomb, depending on what system you're on, and then get out, of, uh, get out of the car and get out of sight, and it will trigger this cutscene. I love that, that Marcos Bistro sign all the time, especially in this cutscene. It says, Marcos Bistro, eat till you explode. Literally. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, stay tuned, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. It really helps me out. Uh, and if you need help with more uh, stuff for the 100% completion of this game, check out my channel. I have a lot of videos up. and I. Uh, hoping in the next few weeks to have this completion guide done. So I'll see you guys.